Hey guys, this is Emily. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a book haul for you. This is in response to a collaboration video with Nat Williams. She's got one up at the moment. It's for Friday night book hauls. This is a Saturday. I didn't get a chance to film during the week, but I wanted to share these books with you anyway. So I thought I would upload it today and I'll link her channel down below for you if you wanted to contribute as well, or just go through and have a look at what everybody is submitting for it. So a couple of months ago, I actually purchased about 10 huge moving boxes of books, and all of the books were to do with birds, Australiana, Antarctica, nature, animals, all of that. Um, they were for free, but the catch was that they needed to be collected that day and it's just a huge amount and it was pretty much take what you see and no flipping through or anything like that so he pretty much just had to take everything that he had um it was from a deceased estate so the books are actually really old these are a couple of the old books um there weren't any new books they were really just old books which is what i was interested in and it turned out that the person that was selling them lived just around the corner from mum and dad so he was really kind enough to drop them off to mum and dad's house. He had a huge van and loaded them all up in that and unloaded them into my parents' house. And then after the lockdown finished here in Melbourne, I was able to go down to mum and dad's and pick up all of my books. So that was a huge task in itself. I've sorted all of them out and kept the ones that I want. I got rid of about four huge boxes of it. So I do have quite a few left over, which I'll be sharing with you. And because it's such a huge amount, I'm going to be doing it in lots. So this time I've got a selection of books and then for the next few weeks, I'll continue on with showing you everything else that I got. So sit back and relax and I hope you guys enjoy flipping through these with me. I've got a huge box to my left, so stick with me and enjoy going through these books with me. The first one is of these color photographs of all of these beautiful birds. There's a couple of really strange ones in here and although the pages are glossy, these are fantastic for doing like journal, oh he's a beauty isn't he, for doing journaling cards, um, just cutting out pictures of the birds and putting them on journaling cards with collaged backgrounds and all of that kind of stuff. But the images are really vibrant. And the birds are just so pretty. They've got beautiful colours. And they're not all Australian birds, these ones. So it's pretty much you get a colour for every different theme that you could possibly imagine. This is an old book, an ex-library book. Um, but it's definitely not the oldest book that I've got in this collection. And this one is called Wild River and it's a really old book as you can see I liked the color of the pages so I wanted to keep this one it does have a date here the second Australian edition 1952 so I'm not sure if that is how old this one is but yeah I loved um, how old it was it's got a cloth cover and really old aged pages and this one, I didn't really like the pages inside, so I just gutted it and I wanted the cover for it because it's a really good kind of thin um, traveling notebook type size. So that'd be really good for recovering and making a journal out of. Along with books, there was also a bunch of magazines. So I sifted through the magazines that I liked the best. Um, these two were so eye-catching. I love little finches and wrens and all of those types of birds. And these two are just so cute. Like I could definitely see this one for the cover of a journal. And it's just so kind of crisp and vibrant. But inside of these bird books as well, there's a whole bunch of photographs of different birds. And of course, there's heaps of bird information if you were into that kind of thing. 
a lot of it I've noticed with the books in this lot are really technical so the person that this used to belong to um, was actually a professional bird watcher um, and I think it's called an ornithologist um, so a lot of it is very technical but I pretty much just sifted through to see what I would use and then yeah passed on the rest this is a women's weekly beautiful birds you can see by the cover and the picture on that that this is a pretty old book as well a lot more larger pictures in this book and these are the ones I like the blue wrens they're my absolute favorites some kingfishers budgies emu yeah so that one's really cool as well a couple more magazines another blue wren on the cover there and it's not many pictures in here no it's just mainly the cover I think that I liked I'll definitely be using him this is a really old magazine it's falling apart Australian birds see it's all been taped together so these pictures are pretty cool it has been damaged a bit on, along the spine it's definitely a lot of good material in here though oh even a color picture hmm that one's beautiful, blue wrens. Honey eaters, songbirds. Yeah, so that one's really nice as well. Um, along with the books, there was a bunch of frames with bird pictures in them. So I harvested all of the pictures from the frames that I liked and then just discarded the frames. Um, and these are the pictures that were in the frames. And they're all prints. That one looks like it's been printed on canvas. And my idea for these ones is to be used as either journal covers or pages in journals because they are a pretty big size. And that looks like it's out of a, an actual magazine. It's on really thin paper. So a mixture of Australian birds and also other birds. And here we've got some illustrations of some animals. They're pretty cool. Okay, here is a massive book on finches and soft bill birds. Another ex library book. None of the books I got are in really good condition actually. This one's 1963. You can tell the pages are, the colour of the pages are creamy, so yeah, it's definitely an old book. Oh, and it's got all of these beautiful illustrations at the back. Well, some illustrations, some photographs. 
So I'm definitely not going to have a shortage on bird photos and illustrations. This was such a great find on Marketplace. I was so fortunate to have seen it. And for him to have just lived around the corner from mum and dad, even better. Beautiful front cover, Grampians Birds, an illustrated checklist. Oh, you've got some eagles in here, birds of prey. Parrots. Seagull. whole different assortment of birds and this one Australian wildlife it's got a really old cover it's a little bit water damaged that's a lovely picture in the cover 1943 the pages on this are really thick And I think I kept this book just to harvest some of the illustrations and to not keep the actual book itself. Oh, I think with this one I actually started reading some of it as well because it was really easy to read. But yeah, I was going to harvest some of the photos and illustrations in this one. Now, this one is a bit of an odd one. Animals Treatment First Aid, the Alleman EFA book, Horses, Dogs, Birds, Cattle. And it goes into kind of different remedies. For, um, oh, you can see the book binding tape there on the inside. Um, different remedies and healing techniques for helping your horses, dogs, birds and cattle. And some of the um, treatments in here are really unusual. But unfortunately, I don't think there was a date on this one. I'm sure if I looked it up, I could find a date on it. But yeah, this one is so unusual. I really wanted to keep this and even have a read through of it. Just have a look at kind of the weird ways that they try to fix animals. It's got some illustrations in it as well. So that will be a really interesting read. The cover is completely wrecked as you can see. But yeah, I thought that one was interesting. Here's a encyclopedia of tropical fish and I wanted to keep this one. I thought it would be really great for a marine journal. It's got a lot of beautiful different pictures of fish in it, all illustrations by the looks of it. It goes through all the different types of breeds of fish. You get some ones with really pretty colours there too. And that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful for an ocean themed or marine themed journal. It's even got some plants. There we go. Here we go, Australia's Cape York Peninsula. And these are extremely glossy pages. Just beautiful photographs of birds. Photograph heavy book. Oh, and even some butterflies. Some landscapes. Oh, it's actually even been signed. That's pretty cool. A, c 
colour guide to familiar sea and coastal birds, eggs and nests over 135 illustrations. This one is pretty cool. Oh, look at him, snowy owl. And it shows you the egg as well up the top. That's really cool. So it looks like there's a bird on almost every page and it shows you the type of egg as well that they lay. That's really cool. This would be a really great resource for ornithologists and everybody interested in birds really. It's just gorgeous, beautiful illustrations. Sure that one will get a lot of use out of it. I wonder if it's got a date on it. 1978 is the reprint. So they are old books, but not extremely old. This is a bit of an unusual one, a really old one, Living With Animals. And that one's been written in up the top there. Beautiful writing. First published September 1960. We got some platypuses. These look like they might be all black and white pictures. He's pretty damaged. Oh, he's so cute, little baby platypus. It's another image heavy book. A cute little card. It's got various animals and birds in this one. I must actually look up to see what, what to do with black and white images. So I'm not really sure how to use those. But the images in here are really cool. So I wanted to keep that one. Here we've got The Wide Brown Land and Other Verse. So this is Australia's Best Love Ballads and Poems. I thought there might be a couple of nice little poems in here to keep. So I'll go through those and take the ones that I want. And it's just a little book, so it won't take up much space. Cage and Garden Birds. Another ex-library book. It's got some beautiful illustrations in here as well kind of glossy paged illustrations. So these types of birds are fantastic just for cutting out separately or even using the whole page because they are pretty small. Some budgies, beautiful parrots. Yeah, so that one's cool. Now, this book I wasn't going to keep, but then I had a flip through and I thought I might just try to cut out some of the pages that I want from this and then get rid of the actual book so I have more storage space because the photographs in here are really high quality, just have a lot of, lot of different animals and landscapes. And some of these, oh, he's cute. Some of these would just be beautiful for my Woodlands journal. Some beautiful flowers. A lot of larger images, but you do get some smaller ones. The, oh, dragonflies. I love dragonflies. And a beautiful bird's nest here. So I could even use part of the image, don't have to cut out the whole thing. Just cut out the parts that you like. So that's a really nice book. Oh, this one is so heavy, it's so thick. The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Animals. Over 2,000 illustrations in full cover colour. And 
that's a 1998 book, so not that old. But have a look at that. They're all illustrations of different animals. It's so thick. I'm sure you could find literally any animal that you wanted to in here. A lot of different birds. They're a really good size as well, actually. Not too big, not too small. Easy to cut out. A lot of different birds, actually. So that's cool. So I highly recommend that if you can find this book, definitely pick it up. Definitely. And there's the front cover again. The only thing is you'd need a lot of space on your bookshelf because it is a very thick one. This is another huge book. This one I'm not going to keep exactly. I'm just going to take out the pages that I like and harvest it because it's just too thick. Um, I'm not going to have enough space on my book bookshelf to keep all of it, especially when I won't be using all of it. But the pages are a really fantastic size for collaging or, oh, they're beautiful. See, I'd love to keep that fox and the bunny. Lovely bird. So cute. Yeah, I'd, it's a really good size for collaging, um, good size for cutting up and just using parts of an image, parts of a scene that you like. So yeah, that will be fun to go through and cut out what I want. And then I found this book. How cool. The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. So as we know, everybody tries to keep their eyes out for this one. Um, this is my first copy of it. So I am, oh my gosh, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I finally have my own copy. It's a reprint. I think it's like the seventh edition. Oh no, this is like the ninth edition. 1978 I think and the pages are really thick they're just beautiful quality um, I'll be having a read through this and my dad actually wants to have a read of this through um, when I finish too so I'll be handing it along to him and then once we're both finished looking at it and going through everything I'll I'll be able to use it for my journals but so so happy I found that and it's in really great condition as well the cover's a little bit um, faded, it has a bit of discoloration, but apart from that structurally, it's a really great condition book. So, find of the day, I love that one. Alright, so now there's a box of other little books, which I'll share. This one was a really good find too, the Pears Cyclopedia. This is extremely old, it's got a little star chart in the front of the book there. I don't think I saw a date on here, but it has been written. It was gifted in 1925. That's a beautiful front page, isn't it? So pages on this are extremely fragile and the spine is all kind of broken up. So it smells a bit old and musty, but it's really cool, like I've never seen anything like this. It's so old. And as well as your standard dictionary, it does actually have other things in it. So, oh, here we've got some different maps. There's Australia, Pears Atlas of the World. So it's got an atlas inside of it. Oh, and it has information on different types of paper, Morse code. This is really interesting. That's your classical dictionary, prominent people, general information. And dictionary of health, so all of your different health definitions. Yeah, I just think it's really interesting and the pages are so discoloured as well. So that's really cool. 
Dictionary of Domestic Pets. It has all of the different dog breeds. That's really cool. Yeah, so different. Such a different kind of dictionary. So that's really nice. It's so thick, but I love it. So I'll be keeping that on my shelf. This is another really old book. I can't really read the spine properly. Common, oh, some common Australian birds. And another X library book. 1956. Look at that blue wren. Beautiful illustration. Kind of have a washed out type soft look to them and oh, kookaburra so that book is heavy on the bird illustrations as well which is great bird behavior more illustrations this one's falling apart pretty bad condition that's cute page some nice images in there and this folder I think it's just got a whole different um, series of information on kind of where to find birds and what their habits are and all of that but I just um I'm keeping this one so I can remove the pages I'm not really interested in all of that kind of text but I really like the cover on it it's um it's a great size and I love the little plastic pockets inside it so I'll um remove the pages and put kind of my own papers and things in there that I use so it's a really good storage solution. Another couple of small books, Birds in Our Gardens. That's a really kind of small size. A great journaling card or tag size birds. Nice variety. Ah, oh, yes, um, this book kind of explains what all of the rare books are that you can find so well, it's got some beautiful pictures in it as well but I kind of wanted to keep this so I could have a look to see what kind of rare books are out there and if I have any or if I come across any um, I'll know what I'm looking for so I thought that was really interesting A pamphlet here for Answer Airlines. That one's pretty old. 1978. How to Know the Birds. And that is 1957. There's some beautiful images here of birds. The pages are a little bit damaged, but um, the illustrations are beautiful. So that's why I wanted to keep this one. I mean, we often try to make our images look aged anyway, and this one already does, so you could cut out a step there. There's some lovely black and white pictures here. only a small book as well so it doesn't take up much room the orange bellied parrot identification guide mm, yeah so it's got a whole different range of parrots there some Australian birds the Bank of New South Wales couple of drawings Birds of Western Plains Zoo and Hillsville Sanctuary in colour 
nice little sized pictures. Once again, I could probably just harvest that and pick the ones that I want, but it is so thin, I thought I may as well keep it. And you've got your Australian animals here and birds. Birds of the top end. Some small sized paintings. A guide to identifying parrots of the Mali region. There's some really nice illustrations in there. Kind of your long slim line pictures. They're really crisp images actually. So that's pretty unique and cool. And these I thought were pretty interesting field cards. So you pretty much tick off the birds that you found and how many times you've found them. So I thought that would be nice for um, bird names or even just tearing out the pages and using that on itself. It's, um, a piece of different ephemera to use. So. And this one doesn't look like it's been written in. Yeah, I thought these were pretty interesting. Okay, so that seems to be all that I've got for you today. Thank you so much again, Nat Williams, for your collaboration. I've really enjoyed this and I look forward to going through all of my other books with you. Thanks, guys. Bye.